What's going on guys? Mickle here and in this video we are covering a very controversial topic in the XRP community. We are going to be talking about JP Morgan coin and whether or not JPM coin could disrupt a lot of the functionality that XRP has promised to bring the financial markets. We know JP Morgan is a financial giant and has connections to the most powerful institutions in the entire world. Because of this, many people have been fearful that JP Morgan Morgan will be able to disrupt a lot of Ripple's business and insert JPM coin into the place XRP will be playing in the future financial system. In this video, I'm going to be showing you why JP Morgan coin and XRP are fundamentally different and JP Morgan coin will never be able to have the inherent utility that is programmed into the XRP protocol. If you guys don't understand the massive difference between these two coins, this is a video you need to watch till the end. This video is going to level up your knowledge and make it so the next time you see fought on this topic, you will be able to address it head on and it will make you a smarter overall investor. Guys, if you are new to this channel or come here all the time, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps me out so much in the YouTube algorithm and it's going to help more people just like you see this video. With that said, guys, let's jump right into it and I hope you enjoy the content. So guys, we have to start off this video by listening to Brad Garlinghouse talk on this topic. Whenever I talk about something like this, I think it's so important for me to show you some of the high level people at Ripple talking about this also, just so you guys know, this is not just me spewing and making things up. These are facts. These are things the highest level people in this industry are saying. What I'm gonna do is break it down for you, make it super easy to understand so that you guys can walk away with this video with the concept and knowledge you need to understand why XRP is fundamentally different than some of these other options and and why XRP is going to be a game-changing financial product for a future financial system built directly into the internet. Understanding these topics are going to make you a smarter and more confident investor, and that's why we start with Brad Garlinghouse. So listen up, and after he talks, we'll break this down and make it super easy for you to understand. Also, Brad Garlinghouse is an OG and one of my favorite CEOs. So whenever you see him talking, make sure to listen up. Well, let me start by saying, I think it's great for the blockchain and crypto industry to have players like JPM leaning in. Thumbs up, yep. that's great. Uh, that's the only nice thing I'm gonna say about this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the, the I got asked this last week, I was speaking at a Morgan Stanley conference and somebody asked me, you know, there was this headline, set of, set of headlines about, you know, what, about JPM coin. Right. And I, this guy was from Morgan Stanley who was interviewing me. I said, so is Morgan Stanley going to use the JPM coin? And he's like, well, like probably not. You know? And so, well, is Citi going to use the JPM coin? Is B of A going to use the JPM coin? Is PNC? And the answer is no. And so does that mean we're all going to have these different coins? And does that mean like we're back to where we are where there's right. lack of interoperability? So like, well, I don't get it. One more quick thing on JPM coin. So let's think about this. The JPM coin they announced for institutional customers if you give them a dollar in deposits, they'll give you a JPM coin that you then can move within the JPM ledger. Wait a minute, just use the dollar. Right. Well, I, don't, like, I really don't understand. Like, if you're just moving it within the JPM ledger and it has to be dollar to dollar, you know, a one to one backing, it honestly doesn't actually, I don't understand what problem that solves. All right, so there's really two very important things that Brad Garlinghouse talks about that we really need to break down. So guys, let's break this down nice and easy so you can understand why JP Morgan coin is not a threat to XRP and XRP will become the reserve bridge asset for the entire financial system and why JP Morgan coin fundamentally wouldn't work in this role. So we were, we're gonna start by breaking down what Brad Garlinghouse just said. And right here we have JP Morgan Bank, Bank of America, and some Switzerland bank. So let's say first we just focus on JP Morgan to Bank of America. JP Morgan goes to Bank of America and says, oh, we would like to do this transaction in our JP Morgan coin, Bank of America, do you want JPM coin? Bank of America says, 
No, we don't want JP Morgan coin. We have Bank of America coin. If you give us Bank of America coin, we'll take it, but we don't want JP Morgan coin. And why would Bank of America say this? Well, maybe they don't trust JP Morgan coin. Maybe they're worried that as soon as JP Morgan coin goes into the Bank of America deposit, that JP Morgan might inflate their supply and make the amount of coin that Bank of America just received fundamentally worth less. Now, this is a drastic example, but what I'm trying to point out to you is that if one bank is going to take another bank's centralized coin, they have to fundamentally trust each other. They have to have a good relationship and know that there's not going to be any funny business going on on the side. Also, Bank of America is fundamentally going to want to promote its own coin because it knows having a, a successful coin will drive more profits. Therefore, by them accepting JP Morgan coin, it's only going to help JP Morgan succeed further. These banks are not partners. They are constantly working against each other to try to take market cap. Therefore, they are not going to want to take each other's coin because that's only going to be propping up the other's business. Therefore, we know based on what we just said, Said, a JP Morgan coin to Bank of America is not going to work because they're both going to have their own coins and neither one is going to have a reason to accept each other's coins so we can take a big X and put it on there. Now, there was, there is a way in which you could pull this off in which JP Morgan could send a JP Morgan coin to, say, Bank of America, and Bank of America could receive its Bank of America coin. And for this example, we're going to drop down to the JP Morgan to Swiss, Swiss Bank example. So here, what we have is JP Morgan coin going into a liquidity pool and coming out whatever currency the Swiss bank wants. There, problem solved. Now the Swiss bank doesn't need to take JP Morgan coin. They don't have to trust each other. It goes into a liquidity pool. Liquidity pool. JP Morgan coin comes in and whatever coin that bank wants comes out. No bridge asset, problem solved. Well, where does XRP fit into this scenario? Well, there's actually another huge issue created by this model, and that is the fact that these pools in the middle of these trades, the liquidity pools, are tying up massive amounts of value. This is actually the problem that we already have in our financial system on a digital scale. And why is that and what is it? It's actually called Nostro and Vostro accounts. What these banks are now being forced to do in this bottom section right here that we're looking at is they are forced to pre-fund the liquidity pool so that when they go to do the transfer, there will be enough assets there in order to convert one asset, the JP Morgan coin, into the currency the Swiss bank wants. Therefore, massive amounts of liquidity are being tied up in these pools simply Simply to make a transfer from one coin to another. On top of that, you would have to have one of these liquidity pools for every single other bank relationship there is. This means that JP Morgan would have to replicate this liquidity pool with this JP Morgan coin with thousands of other banks and every other trading pool, other every other trading pair that any single other one of these banks would want to take. That is more and more capital being tied up and this is capital that JP Morgan could be using to fund R&D grow its business use for other things that is going to be stuck in these liquidity pools how big are these liquidity pools we're currently in current Nostro and Vostro accounts which are essentially just outdated liquidity pools they're the pools used by our current financial system there's already 27 trillion dollars in money just stuck in these dormant accounts doing nothing other than used for transfers and having pre-funded pools of money what XRP, and this is a great gif of it actually, as we can see right here, and it's about to restart, the Nostro and Vostro accounts are essentially have money sucked out of them to go to different places. But the use of XRP completely gets rid of the Nostro and Vostro accounts and allows the money to be transferred instantaneously across counterparties. And that's what happens when we bring XRP into this example. Suddenly, when you have XRP and brought into this example, JP Morgan coin and all these other 
coins are irrelevant. JP Morgan could have his JP Morgan coin, and all it has to be is liquid to XRP. You go JP Morgan to XRP, and XRP to any one of these other banks or any other currency they want. The best advantage of this is all the liquidity is already fundamentally backed up by XRP. Therefore, you don't need all these different liquidity pools because all the liquidity is in XRP itself. Therefore, JP Morgan could take its money and have 99% of its money in JP Morgan coin and then instantly transfer to XRP. And then that XRP could be instantly transferred into, say, Bank of America coin. Boom, an instantaneous transfer of transfer of value over a trustless decentralized system in XRP and neither party had to pre-fund any account because all the liquidity was already in XRP. As this liquidity keeps flowing into XRP and more and more banks hook up to the system, then the price of XRP incre increases because it needs to provide liquidity for all these different market providers. Another excellent part about this system is the fact that this system right here assumes that all these different uh, banks are all building their coins on interoperable blockchains. We know that is very highly unlikely and say JPM is on Ethereum, the Swiss bank is built on Algorand, and say Bank of America is built on XRP. Well, suddenly, these liquidity pools can't even talk to each other, and you need more, even more protocols in between just to make it so they can speak to each other. If you have everyone functioning on the same decentralized neutral standard, then you don't need to worry about that. Everyone is already plugged into the same system, and it does not require Bank of America having to figure out some crazy backend API in order for them to talk directly to JP Morgan. All they need to do is focusing uh, focus on talking to the XRP ledger, and then once they focus on talking to the XRP ledger, they can instantaneously talk to every other financial um, financial company also plugged into the XRP ledger. It is instant interoperability for all these financial institutions who no longer have to pre-fund accounts and can transfer assets instantaneously anywhere in the entire world. And what and what you might be asking is, are banks actually going to use this? Are banks going to start using this standard? Or is this all just hype and XRP really won't be able to insert itself? The answer to that is yes, of course they will, and it's already happening. If we scroll through a list of the top 100 banks, we can see so many of them are already Ripple partners, it blows your mind. And I talk about this all the time. This list has not been updated in years. It is likely way more expansive, and these companies are not just simply using Ripple for their messaging software. They are using Ripple because they want access to XRP. Trust me, all these banks understand how big of a problem and how big of a shit show this right here is. They need a better solution. In the age in which I can send a text message anywhere in the entire world at the snap of the finger, they want to be able to do the same thing with money. The only thing JP Morgan coin solves is being able to send JP Morgan coin around JP Morgan and deposit and credit different accounts. Once you step outside their ecosystem, it is ultimately useless because it is a centralized system trying to act as a decentralized neutral counterpart that is never going to work because parties will fundamentally never trust each other at the scale to build an entire financial system. It needs to be neutral, it needs to be decentralized, and it needs to be something that benefits all parties equally, and that is XRP. Getting these companies or businesses and banks onto the Ripple software allows them to easily integrate their current business practices into the XRP ledger, and this is what will allow an entire financial system to incorporate into instantaneous payments, instant liquidity, and accounts that no longer have to be pre-funded. So guys, the last thing I wanted to show you is just this quote by Brad Garlinghouse. XRP will revolutionize the way we send money. Swift is over 50 years old. And this quote by Brad Garlinghouse reads, there's more volatility risk using Swift over 180,000 seconds than using XRP 
for over three seconds. What he's saying is even despite the fact that XRP fluctuates in value, the thing is that's critical to understand is when JP Morgan sends assets to Bank of America, the trade only exists as XRP for three seconds. After this, it is converted back to whatever currency is on the other side of the trade, and therefore volatility risk isn't even a problem. ODL and Ripple have solved a colossal problem that has been slowing down the financial system for decades. It is only a matter of time until the regulators get their asses in order and figure out a way in which this can be incorporated into our current financial system. When it does so, XRP is going to take on the value of all the different assets it creates liquidity for, and that is going to create an exponentially rising price for XRP. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this update. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to my channel. Helps me out so much to make more videos like that. And and with that said, for now, Nickel out. <laughs>